Well, hello everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for the reveal of our Simon Says Stamp, Stamp Timber 2023 exclusive with Newton's Nook Designs. This is our Santa Paws stamp set. Adorable and perfect for creating holiday projects. I'm gonna show you how to use these cute little critters to make some Christmas tags that you can make multiples of in no time at all. I'm going to create a background first on top of my tag, which I cut with one of our CZ Design nested tag dies. I'm putting a stencil on top, which is our snowflake cluster stencil. And I am holding this down with some pixie spray. These are the colors of ink that I'm going to use to ink blend through the stencil. This is a really nice non-traditional holiday color combo. And to ink blend, I'm going to use our Simon Says Stamp small blending brushes. Starting first with Cheeky, I'm going to ink blend in the top right corner and I'm going to work my way down from the top right corner down to the bottom and then around to the left. I want these colors to blend together and create a very soft, beautiful background that can go behind my critters. All of the products that I'm using today are listed below in the video description. So if you are curious about anything, you can find it all there. Once I ink blended the background, I'm going to remove the stencil and reveal our beautiful snowflake pattern. I'm going to repeat this process on all of the tags and I'm not going to clean my stencil in between because that'll allow me to just keep on reusing the ink that is sitting on top of the stencil. So I made a total of three tags today so I could use all three images from the stamp set and these tags are going to get enhanced by adding a little bit of splatter using Tim Holtz Distress Mica Stain. The Mica Stain colors that I'm using are Sugary Gumdrop and Wonderland. These are going to be really pretty splattered across these tags and add a nice bit of sparkle. On some hammer mill white cardstock, I'm going to use our Simon Says Stamp Intense Black ink to stamp these images so that way I can cope at color them. Now you could color them with whatever mediums you like, but I definitely love coloring with Copics. I love the bright, vibrant colors. So that's what I chose today. And I do have the Copic colors that I'm using linked below in the video description as well. I colored the reindeer and the dog with the similar brown colors. This is going to give a very cohesive look across all of my tags. These are E50 markers. And I also wanted to make sure that I use neutral colors for the critters so that way when I add color to the stockings and the Santa hats, they'll coordinate well and they'll also match nicely with the backgrounds. I used red to color in the Santa hats for all of the critters and then each critter has a completely different colored stocking but I did make sure to pick out colors that would go nicely with the backgrounds that they are on the tags. So I have teal, green, and I'll also do a coral color for the reindeer. There are coordinating dies for this stamp set that can cut out the images and also the snowflakes that are part of the stamp set. I didn't actually use the snowflakes for my tags, but they would be great for adding some accessory stamping around the critters. And you'll notice I'm leaving a lot of the stocking white. Any of the trim areas, I wanna make sure to leave white because we're gonna add some sparkle to those with a little bit of glitter. I'm also going to add that sparkle to the Santa hats. Each of the two white areas that I left uncolored for the Santa hats will also have the glitter accents. So I'm wrapping up the coloring, although I do want to make sure to give this cute little reindeer a red nose because he has to look like Rudolph. And at this point, I've cut the images out and we're ready to work on adding some glitter. Now this process is a lot of fun. It's a great way to be able to mix your glitters and create a custom mix. You could mix these ahead of time in an empty jar if you have it, but I'm just going to work from the jars and sprinkle on top of the images. So I added glue to any of the areas that are not colored and then I'm taking my glitter which happens to be unicorn dust and unicorn confetti from Simon's Stamp and I'm sprinkling these over top of my wet glue so that way the glue will catch the glitter. Again, it's a little messier if you do it this way but I find it's fun. But if you wanna skip the mess, you could just mix these two in a jar and then simply dump the jar over top of the images. It's up to you. I am holding these with tweezers so I make sure I don't get my fingers in the glue and I'll do this for each of the three images. On some Schoolhouse Red cardstock from Simon's Stamp, I'm gonna stamp two sentiments onto this paper and I will stamp one of them again so that way I have three greens. I'll prep the surface of my paper with my Simon's Stamp powder tool and then using Simon's Stamp embossing ink, I'll ink up these images and then stamp them down on top of the cardstock. This embossing ink is gonna work great for adding some white embossing powder on top and this will give my sentiments a really nice pop off of this red cardstock. 
I am going to heat the back side of my paper with my tool before bringing it to the front, which helps give a much cleaner embossing and also keeps your paper from warping. I'm attaching my critters onto these tags using some foam squares from Simon's Stamp. And then the sentiment will get attached with foam tape because it's a little bit thicker than the thin 3D foam squares I used for the critters. And that is all it takes to put these together. You could make tons of these for your Christmas gifts. And if you don't like the colors I've chosen here, you can mix around the colors and create your own custom palette that coordinates with your wrapping paper. Just use this design as your guide for where you're placing everything and you're gonna have some really fun and festive tags. The only thing we had left to do was to add some twine across the top. So I picked out some red and white candy striped twine to go ahead and tie onto the tops of each of my tags. And there we have it, some cute festive tags with a lot of sparkle and shine using our Simon Says Stamp Stamp Timber 2023 exclusive with Newton's Nooks Designs called Santa Paws. Don't forget, this is a limited edition set and only available while supplies last. I have links to the stamp and die set as well as the stamp set alone down below in the video description for you. So if you're looking to purchase it, you're gonna wanna grab it while you can. It's a cutie, so I don't think it'll last very long. Thanks for so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. I will see you again soon and have a wonderful day. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.